Hey guys, I'm Mr. Addicted here, and today we're going to be building this awesome house. It's awesome, I think. It's it's quite good. In today's video, we're going to be building this small survival house. Now, let me show you what it looks like. Oh my goodness me. So this is the house we're going to be building today. I've done all the interior as well. And as you can see, it's got a really nice design. We've got the back here as well. It's all nice and pretty. And we've got some nice workplaces. We've got a place underneath here for our chests and our crafting as well. I just think it's a nice design, little table and chair. Obviously, we've got our repairing stone cutter thing. And then on the inside, we've got a little bit of farm here as well. Some lanterns about. Just a really nice house. On the inside here, we've got a nice blast furnace. And it, we've got some place for our pots and stuff. We've got a mine so we can go down into the mine. And we've got a full enchantment table. And we've got a place for our bed. And yeah, it's just a really nice build, I think. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to do little small builds every single day i'm obviously uploading big builds as well so i'm kind of like mixing it all in but trying to at least get a video out each day for you guys so this is the first one so slap a like on the video if you want to see more like this or comment down below if you want to see some much bigger larger builds but without further ado let's build this awesome house and uh hopefully get some inspiration from it so let's do this right so this build will fit in a 15 by 15 area and uh, yeah we're gonna build this today so hopefully you enjoy so starting from here one two three four and then going forwards one two three place our first block and we can go up by let's say one two three four altogether and we're gonna have a doorway here and then at the side of the doorway we're gonna go one two three and then over like that and I think we could probably fill that one in because that one is going to be a window. So we might as well go like that and up and then two on top like this. And then we've got our window. Now you can use plain glass or what I like to use. I like the white stained glass. So you can use some of the white stained glass and place it in there like that. So our next bit would be we'll place a log here and we're going to put one, two up here. We'll place one here and then a log going one two three four place our glass in and then i'm going to use a spruce trap door there and two spruce trap doors here and um, i'm going to actually use maybe an oak door i think that might work in fact we're going to take out let's take out the first two there so we can place our oak door and it doesn't fall off then at least so that's that's always a good thing you don't want your door falling off because <laughs> what's the point of a door mate you know what i mean if your door's falling off anyway i'm getting distracted <laughs> place a vents here sorry back to professionalism one two three with the campfires and then obviously we put the campfires out i might put like a grindstone here i feel like a grindstone would be a perfect thing just just slap it right there and then maybe kind of like like maybe a fern or something just like a little fern underneath just wow it's gonna make sense later well i hope so it does well it might not do but you can't win everything around here we're gonna count one two three four i think and then we're gonna count one two three place our oak log and then one two three four five place our oak log I wonder if it's worth wait one two three yeah that's going to be perfect because i want an enchantment table in here basically so we're going to count one two three oak log going up one two three four and then one two three four one two three four up like this and across here let's do this one two three four five six and it will go across like that let's put a little tiny window here maybe um let's place that in there and let's build it up like that um let's fill that in maybe put some plants there or something we could maybe put another window here but for now we'll fill it all in we'll take it off later where we add some decorations around the place i feel like we could have a table and chair here so maybe we could do something like this maybe uh put one here and hmm yeah one here maybe so when we put this out we could place a wooden thing I'm forgetting there. When I'm thinking too fast, I just can't think fast. If you know what I mean. Does that make any sense? A sign. 
we need a sign i'm going to use an oak sign so if we just place it at the back here and at the back here it looks like a little table and chairs like <laughs> cool isn't it okay now let's work on the roof so for the roof one past it and we're just basically going all the way across like that same with this side go like this go all the way across like this and just one past it like that now instead of just doing um, a normal kind of dinghy roof why don't we just use some slab of the thing and then just have a roof so it kind of curves around i really like these roofs and we're just putting block under block under like this same here so half slab half slab half slab like that and then we've got a perfect roof i'm going to do the same at the other side so slab 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 like that and then we can just fill the roof in now so i'm going to fill it all the way across there and across here i might actually um put something in there there and there and um I'm trying to figure out what to do it right there and there and there right so like that and then when this is going over the top and then that and that and then this going across like this and uh, yeah if you like these little houses because I'm doing them different and um, put a like on the video if you like if you don't like it um, just don't put a like on the video I guess and then it's problem solved in it why are you why are you complaining mate you know what I mean you don't have to do it I'm gonna put this up to two maybe i think or should we have some window i guess we're not gonna i'm gonna actually fill it all in i think because when we put an enchantment table there i'm gonna actually just have this going over the top when we have an enchantment table in there i guess um having windows is not much use anyway so i'm gonna actually let's let's fill this in first right i'll just do this bit just so I can put the enchantment table in and then we can kind of see and gauge what we need. I kind of want it to level 30 so I kind of want it as a small um, wooden survival start house but at the same time um, obviously a bit more advanced um, in I need bookcases don't I? I'm typing in enchantment table don't need that yet right so one two three one two three one two three one eh 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 one two three one two three like that and then above here, we could probably slot some stuff in there and maybe put... Could we put a window there? I wonder if that would work. Like this. And then underneath here, if we grab some... This might not work, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I might as well. Um, maybe two lots of trapdoors like that. And then it's just like a kind of different window ledge. And then hopefully... If you put like a, a torch down here, you'll have like light. So let's put it. Let's get our torch, get our enchantment table. I don't know where it, where are you? Enchantment table. Hello. There we go. Um, torch in here, right? We've got some light. Crouch down, place it on there. Enchantment, we can still get in. Perfect. We can actually bring it forward seeing as though we can actually get in there and we can use that as a shelf then maybe that going across the top we can still actually walk in yeah let's keep that one and then i'm going to put this in i'm actually going to have some kind of a cobblestone roof coming through here maybe so just down there so you kind of have to walk past it like this maybe yeah so you can still get pie Maybe put a furnace in there or a blast furnace, to maybe. A blast furnace in there. We'll probably need to work on the rest of it. Or what you can do is you can do it up to that point and then get something like this so it kind of like you're not so blocked off. I think that would make more sense. And then out here, let's go one more and then that on top maybe. I think that would be all right yeah i'm liking that right so we're going to grab these campfires one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight leaving a space on each side like this and then we can grab our fence bringing it down to support 
and bringing it down here to support on either side and then of course just boom get rid of it all let's have a look at it that is looking rather pretty okay i'm gonna grab a barrel maybe and i definitely want some bushes because you know i like bushes i mean i think i've got uh i don't know spe special things inside my head that's probably the best way to put it i just like bush mate i mean excuse me there we go i'm gonna put some blast furnace out here as well maybe we could would this go to the there we go so we've got another blast furnace outside maybe we could um i feel like i could get some of these spruce trap doors just across here right i'm gonna have to crouch like that fence that off we've got a nice little area here underneath the ground now what we can do is probably go like that and that and then in here we can have a space for a chest and uh, maybe replace that one for a crafting table and then it's all compact to kind of like stuff outside so you can go outside and inside and uh, this is probably unnecessary details but i kind of like this little turtle egg things just one there for no reason let's get one of those saw things um it's probably not called a saw um there we go stone cutter let's turn it from this side so we've got a stone cutter there and maybe just a pot or something a pot with uh, a plant in it maybe use a fern this fern because it's kind of a little bit bigger there we go kind of don't like the stone cutter there to be honest and um, we could probably put that somewhere else maybe hmm we'll uh, carry on anyway right so at the back here we could maybe do a window like that and then i'm gonna i wonder if it's worth doing a window here maybe a window there would a two window there look all right yeah i kind of like that that's it looks really nice so i'm gonna go with that outside one two three four and then i'm gonna use some of the trap doors like this and then we'll get that i wonder if it's worth going over the top like that or i wonder if the campfires would look any better just for this little bit kind of wanting to make it small but still yeah kind of like it it's nice and here as well if you want to do this um i've seen people do this before <coughs> excuse me right um where it's spurious we could put it like this i don't know if that makes any difference or would it be better down like that and then taking those away and just having like that there i wonder if it's better like this i'm just experimenting so you guys can kind of yeah i kind of like that at the same time i feel like that'd be all right as well anyway we'll put some flowers in there um details that probably you guys can mess around with until it looks all right for you i'm gonna get some bush here maybe maybe a two maybe just a two there and then bush going all the way around this to that point there and if you want to put some windows in there you can do if you want to kind of i wonder if this will just to kind of make it look a little bit different i'm going to experiment with it don't place any blocks yet but i'm going to have a look at least eh? i might put that one that way like that like that let me see i kind of like that as well um i think outside here what we can do is if we dig underneath here um and place some water does this work though that is the question put some water here and then when we do this that is fertilized <laughs> is that the right word for it that there we go and then we can get some wheat 
place it in there. Could even go one further because that water source will. I kind of want it overlapping there. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. That to there. Get our wheat in, and obviously it's gonna grow over the time. But I'm just gonna fill it in ready. Bone meal like that, and then um, you can grab some. Obviously to make it look nice around the area you want. Maybe you have some areas that you kind of walk through and make yourself a path. You could have certain areas like this is part of the thing anyway. So I'm just going to add some cobblestone around maybe. Have a cobblestone just going all the way around actually. For people that are in the plot world. But obviously you don't have to do it like this. And then uh, we need to work on some of the inside, but hopefully you get a nice house out of it at the very least. And uh, yeah, so instead of that going all the way around, I'm just going to use some of the cobblestone. Probably make some paths. Um, so you probably would be walking around here. These bits you could maybe replace with dirt instead because, oh, this granite, whatever. Because you can't put it there because of that. Or you could put like a... Yeah, just a dirt or something. Like that. And uh, yeah, around here. You can go through here. That's alright. You can have some hoed land here. And just little bits here and there. You kind of get the idea for it anyway. Obviously you can make it your own, this sort of stuff. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm limiting my space of what I've got. But yeah, you get the idea. You could probably do this all in cobblestone down the side here. Kind of end that there. Get your cobblestone walkways. Or you could use dirt. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then if you wanted to close it off, you could even have like, just kind of curling around in some areas maybe turning some areas into fence probably best to do that so it kind of plugs in that into there maybe another one where it ends there so you kind of get the idea for it anyway and um, anything else let's see we could probably put little pots around the place on the floor Let's uh, pot and stick some mushrooms in it or something or anything or I wonder if sweet berries actually go in it. Is that possible? No, it's not. I'm going to put some sweet berries around here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Some sweet berries around the place. Obviously, it's out of the area, but you guys can do whatever you like. Oh, some grass there, even. Grass, more land. Make it kind of lived in. Make it look nice. I was looking for some mushrooms, but I can't seem to find them. Oh, there we go. Wanted to put some kind of mushrooms there. And then we could get some lanterns, of course, because we want it lit, lit up around this area. So maybe one here and one here maybe and um yeah just wherever you feel would work you could probably put one dangling from there here and you can put torches as well doesn't have to be here maybe mm, you can bring that down so you can have that hanging from there and stuff or you could do it this way if you don't want to mess with the roof you can bring one of these out maybe um, like that and then place one on <laughs> you get the idea it doesn't have to be like that but yeah inside the building now so we've got that area there we uh, let's right I'm gonna come back once I've got together something that might actually be all right so I'm going to put those two there and that across there and um, we're definitely going to have some lanterns in this place. So let's put them from each one there. 
and it's such a small space it's probably best to maybe have like a mine coming down from here and then obviously you can go about your mining so something like that maybe and then obviously you get your stairs and bring that down obviously i can't go any further because i'm on a flat world but you get the idea for it and um maybe some of these up so you can go down into your mine get like a item frame put that above there with maybe a tool on so you kind of people know it's a mine I wonder if you could just kind of that across there. Maybe it's, is it worth doubling it up maybe? So you've got like a mine area. Kind of like it more open though, I guess. Um, yeah, so compositor. I'm gonna get one of them at the side here because I kind of feel like some bush would be good in here like that maybe a little crafting table at the side so we've got the crafting as well as and maybe here i want to put like a bed bed get like a any color bed of your choice and then you can kind of enclose it in a little bit more probably best to maybe put the bedroom a bit more private like that so you've got your bedroom and um let's see wonder if that there all right with a compositor so tiny little bedroom there and then um what other stuff would you have or oh, chess even so maybe we need some room for chess we'll probably put them up here actually some chest space there and uh, you can use the tops of the roof as well because we haven't put a window in that bit maybe something like that supporting it and then maybe a little carpet or something like that inside here whatever color you like let's go with a red as well you can even get the carpet run around here if you choose so yeah you kind of have to crouch with the carpet there so I guess you could uh, leave that bit like that and then just a tiny little carpet here something like that maybe something like that and you can still get in there and uh, yeah now it's entirely up to use like uh, paintings you can put around the place and um, you can even have like I wonder if this will work actually let's put something like that and then have another little oh you can't actually I wonder if you can put it on a painting put this here so we can kind of still walk around and then put a painting above it maybe would that work or oh, can we actually place anything on there maybe do it here and then we can have like uh, a plant or something or a pot just to decorate it like some pots there and probably get the fern back out but you can change it about yeah I think it's just a really cozy sort of nice looking house and like on here we can place some extra pots I guess I just think wow yes perfect there you go you've got um off obviously an awesome little house that you can uh yeah do survival stuff in <laughs> okay so anyway guys i shall catch you in the next video and uh yeah make sure you slap a like on the video and if you want to see more content like this obviously i'll be doing a lot more bigger houses and bigger builds very very soon but um for now i'm trying to do some really quirky small sort of uh cute survival wooden houses and stuff like that maybe if you want some modern ones and stuff maybe comment down below but i shall catch you in the next video peace out